coming down from the sky, and everyone knows it never rained in Austin Stadium. Today, a Big Ten clash, as you know, when you square off against a conference opponent, the blood boils a little hot. As we'll see, the Maryland Terrapin taking on the number one team in the land, the Oregon Ducks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's keep this one up. Just nowhere to run, not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carry. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four-yard line. This is a tough part of the field. You want to try to create some space and, and give yourself an opportunity not to throw out of your own end zone. They didn't hold up in protection. They give up the sack, but thank goodness 
They didn't give up a safety. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. The give to the single back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. And the Ducks send out the punt unit. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Maryland has the ball back in the Terrapin offense ready to go. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up with an opportunity to get some points and start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the field. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down. Using his leg to Timby. Tough run in this part of the field. He's got four down to the 23. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll run play action. Short gain on the play before he slides. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. No one the quarterback to the Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. Here's the return from inside his tent. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Using the quick game. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there. Still a little brown to cover to pick up the first. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. The Ducks will punt this one away. 
This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Feels the punt and tries to help improve that field position. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Re-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Getting some heat. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. Second and ten after the previous play. Scanning the field, it's Edwards. Trying to get behind the defense. And he's got it inside the 25. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. The Terrapins in the hurry up. out throwing on first down. Makes the grab on the back. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Well, they execute the in route. How about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. And the Terrapins have taken it inside the 20. On second down, they'll take to the air. It's complete to the left. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. You've got to give the O-line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. The Terrapins are moving quickly down the field. Wants to throw on first down. Forced out of the pocket. wonder what the defense was thinking there. I mean, he just gashed them all by himself. Boy, and you think quarterback runs sometimes, but you can't think about it all the time. You got misdirection. There's so many things to look at. The quarterback can throw it. But when you got an athlete behind center that can do that, it's just frustrating. Too many things to try to stop. to attempt to try. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the scoring play came on the 12-yard run. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The gift to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to... 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Pocket starts to collapse. And down he goes back at the three. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. They'll try the run. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. Got it near midfield. 
This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. He wants to start this drive with a pass. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that. And now on second down for this offense. Dropping back, it's Edwards. Release to the back. Gets it out quickly. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. I like how this offense throws to their running backs in different areas of the field. It's not always going to be to the perimeter. It's not always going to be screens, but they can attack the middle of the field, too, using these angle routes. Nice play call. He's going to pass. Pressure coming. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. What a nice answer by this defense. You give up the big play, you respond right back. You get the sack, create some momentum for your side. Nice job by this defense staying with it. Really need to pick up some yardage this time on second and long. He's looking to throw. He'll pull it down, and he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for every single play. Here comes his home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Now improvising. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. And he's already one for one, so this time he'll try to put one through from 39 yards out. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away and hoping that'll be the final point of this first half. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Just never had a chance to shake loose and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Looking to go up top on first down. It's gone. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. How nice is it in this offense to have your best receiver playing in the slot? You're matching him up against linebackers, against safeties, or nickel corners. Nickel corners are oftentimes the defense's third best cornerback. This guy is virtually uncovered. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. Let's it fly! Catch and stride inside the 15. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And that big gainer on the last one has been threatening from inside the 10. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to find another play. This offense just has to find a way to find a rhythm here. They're playing at home, and they want this crowd to stay involved and be an asset in the game, but they need to start making plays. They can't keep throwing incompletions this early. On second down, they'll try the field goal to get the points before halftime. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. I know they're trailing going into the lot out here at halftime. But kicking that field goal gives them a little bit of a choice boost of momentum that they can carry with them into the second half. And there's a lot of football left to go here. I can't wait to see what happens.
So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. Let's see what he can get done from inside his own 15. They'll knock him down and that'll take us to halftime. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, a stirring start to things today in Eugene as we say hello from our broadcast studios. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in Autzen Stadium. Just about set for the second half kickoff. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Down two possessions to start this third quarter. They love to build some early momentum. You ain't lying, because you only got so many possessions here in the second half. So now you're down. I got to maximize every single one. Put your best plays together. Start this drive off on a good note. Yeah, it starts right here. Obviously, you can't get it all back on this drive, but you can create that momentum. You can create something special and some energy, but it's going to start with this offense here executing at a high level. They're trying to get to it. Well, the defense knew coming into the second half here, they were going to have to crank up the pass rush, right? They've got the lead. They're going to be seeing this quarterback drop back. How can you affect him? You've got to win up front one-on-one -on -one and get home, and they did there on third down. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion not to mention multiple scores. Lost one deep down the right side. And the ball is intercepted. Not a lot of room on the return, but he'd already gotten the most important thing, the ball, and they have it at the 46. Here comes the Maryland offense back onto the field. Man, oh man, these offenses just haven't been able to find any room to get things going, David. And to quote the great philosopher, Reese Davis, this is very ungood. Just nothing working for this offense, Palmer. They got to find something. Well, the, the plays look good against the scout team during the week in practice, but they have just not been able to find a rhythm against this defense today. And this center downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. Now adjusting. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. And the big defensive tackle getting off the rock. Nice job seeing play action, understanding his pass, beats the guard, gets to the quarterback, and gets the QB on the ground. Sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. Looking to pass. It's Edwards. Finds his big tight end. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. But I have all that speed on the floor. I gotta find a favorite matchup. They're all across the board. Which guy do I know can win? Man to man coming to see that guy can win that. Decimals rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. He finds his man. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down distances. There on that third down, 
there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. Stag in the end zone. Touchdown, Carapaz. And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing in the game. So because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. The kickoff unit about to go to work. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Needed just a little more help to turn that into a big return. They'll mark him down at the 29. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. Uh, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? I, I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so he puts a lot of pressure on this offense. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. The back goes in motion. Looking for a man. It's Gabriel. Fires to the middle. Pass on the way. It's picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Really nice job there by the defense, because I think they baited the QB into trying to fit that one in over the middle of the field. Remember, it's a big zone coverage. They've all got their eyes on him back there in the pocket, and they just let him feel like, maybe I can fit this football in. Not so fast. They come away with the pick. Maryland has the ball back in the Terrapin offense, ready to go. They'll start this drive with a pass. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. How about the linebacker breaking on the football, seeing the quarterback, the ball comes out, he moves right to where the ball's going, nice anticipation, and swats the ball to the ground. Second and ten here. He's looking to throw. On the run, fires downfield. And he dropped it. Incomplete pass in what would have been a huge game. No defender anywhere around. And he just flat dropped it. And guys, they really need to take advantage of this field position on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to beat the DD. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting that. So they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre snap to post snap to confuse the quarterback. Now forcing game completion, setting up four. And this field goal team has been busy. This kicker comes out for the third time tonight. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. 
From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field. Dang, I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. If you want to a better route. Open the drive with a chunk play out past the 40, and they are in business on first down. From the gun, the ground game. Still on his feet at the 45. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. Well, there's the offense trying to take advantage of this running back speed. I like the call. Hand off to the left, to the outside. Put him in space and let him go to work. The Ducks want to move quickly. the play fake on first down. Feeling some heat. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. And the defense at this point understands that the offense is going to have to try to throw the football. All right, they already got a lead, so they're now pinning their ears back and getting after this guy, trying to get him to the ground. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Man, that's a big missed opportunity for the running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And I'll tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. Just enough time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. On third down, going up top. Got it set up on the outside. There to make the stop, and we've played three in this one. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Maryland has the lead. They built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. And the Ducks have it with a first and ten. Running the red zone, it's James. Mark it off as a six-yard game down to the six-yard line. I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them on the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. It'll be second down. And remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. On the ground, it's James. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Reels it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, Ducks! Receivers do this every day, all day. Throw it up. I will go get it. I will stay in bounds. Nice job knowing where he was at on the field to get that foot in bounds, to get the big touchdown for this offense. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. Trying to get back in this game with that last score. It's a 13-point game as they're set to kick off. From inside the 10, here he comes. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought. 
one down. Looking for a physical attack from the gut. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I know exactly what I have to do here. Defensively, we've got to get the stop. So we're playing run. We're selling out to run because we're thinking they're going to run the football. And we got three timeouts. Let's use them wisely. Let's use those timeouts to save as much clock as we can so our offense has some time on the clock to do some damage when they get the football back. To the air, it's Edwards. Buying some time. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and leading the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. It'll be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. He'll run it again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Big third down for this team. Listen, you've got to get the ball back. You know what they're doing. They're trying to run the football, but we need the clock to be on our side so our offense has some time. You've got to make a stand right here on third down. Better find the earplug. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking for room. It's Hemby. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And the Terrapins will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He turns like that or why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards and up off the oak. To the air, it's Gabriel. He's got his man. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Yeah, the defense is going to give you those all day. But late in the game now, they've got the big lead. Expect them to play big zone defenses and try to keep the football in front of them. If you want to throw it short, they're just going to rally to the ball and just bleed this game out. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. He wants to throw here on second down. Coming after it. The freshman able to get home with the sack. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. He wants a big play here late. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. And now such a tough situation late in this game. You're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. you got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. They're throwing for it on fourth down. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. Quarterback will take a knee. The defense can stop it one more time, but we are close to being all she wrote. 